Blackpool fans, welcome to a packed Broxbourne Civic Hall. The world of sport may have finished over 20 years ago, but tonight, for one night only, thanks to LDN Wrestling, it returns for Legends Showdown. Mr. TV, John Atkins here tonight as your commentator, and what a show we have got for you. The top stars from the days of the world of sport, plus an LDN British Championship matchup. James Mason. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a bonus on my right hand from Morden in Surrey. He is a former three-time European middleweight champion superstar. Now, Sanders. And believe it or not, superstar Mal Sanders is still an active wrestler as well. Indeed, we saw him just weeks ago on LDN Capital TV in a great match against Johnny Kidd. I'm telling you, make sure you tell him. He, he, he knows you. Right, okay. Make sure you do. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Well, the bell sounds and the action begins here at Legend Showdown tonight. Round one, six five-minute rounds. And it is clear that the fans here at the Broxbourne Civic Hall are solidly behind James Mason. But you know something? I don't think Mal Sanders would have it any other way. As our ring announcer mentioned, Mal Sanders, he has held numerous titles in his career, including the three-time European Middleweight Championship. But it seems like tonight he might not want anything to do with that. And indeed, he is threatening to make his way home, and that would be a terrible start to tonight's show. If there isn't complete silence in the arena, he's going back to his mansion. So... Well, Mal Sanders requesting complete silence. I don't think he's going to get it from this crowd. And indeed, James Mason rallying the fans behind him. And Sanders eventually gets back in the ring reluctantly. Well, come on now. Mal Sanders making his ring debut in 1978, still active today in 2007. James Mason a lot younger than Mal Sanders, but still with a wealth of experience under his belt. Former All-Star champion. He has got international wrestling experience. He has wrestled throughout Europe and even wrestled in the NWA TNA World X Division Championship Cup. Ask him, referee. 
Indeed, James Mason might be young, but he has done it all. And he has got great strength as well. But Mal Sanders taking him down to the mat there nicely, and referee Bobby Stafford is asking for a submission. And Mason says no. And a lovely headstand break out there. Very nice reversal there from Mason. Mason might be a young guy, but he is well-schooled in the art of true British wrestling. A Greco-Roman knuckle lock countered there by Mal Sanders. But Mason looking to overpower him. Sanders is fading fast and it's a nice reversal. And Mason gets it on nicely. Oh no! Nice, nice forward flip. And Mal Sanders quite taken aback by that move. Mal Sanders looks very perturbed indeed. I think he might have underestimated his opponent here in this contest. And we are still only in the first round. Nice arm drag takedown into a wrist lock, and he is bending those fingers back. And that could well get a submission. A very sensitive area of the body, the fingers. Very painful indeed to have them bent back. And it's to Mason's credit that he is still in this matchup. Well, that was a mistake from Mal Sanders. He laid his hands on the official. And that was a big mistake, and quite frankly, he was very lucky indeed not to get an instant disqualification for that. But I think all three people in the ring right now, referee Bobby Stafford included, know just how big a deal tonight's show is. And I don't think they want to give Mal Sanders the satisfaction. James Mason in very good shape, but... Uh, Punch to the kidneys there from Mal Sanders, cut him off in his prime, and a kick to the midsection for good measure. Whips him across the ring. Oh, and a big clothesline into the throat. And he rolls over for a cover, and Mason kicks out very quickly indeed. And that is the end of round one, and it's neither man scoring a fall in the opening round. But what a round there. We go back to our corners now. You tell him, <laughs> And I think from just the opening round, we have got a good measure of both men here. James Mason, a talented athlete. And oh my. Mal Sanders, a very mouthy, still as mouthy as he was back in the 70s and 80s when he appeared every week on the world of sport. But it's to James Mason's credit, I don't think he's intimidated. I don't think he is intimidated by Mal Sanders. Oh, a big blow to the midsection, and that was, without question, a closed fist. And unfortunately for James Mason, the referee's back was turned. But now Mal Sanders... Mal Sanders has got James Mason... Well, he had him in that middle rope, and he was pulling him back. He was pulling him, he had his finger in the nostrils, a finger up the mouth, pulling the ears, a despicable, despicable action, and I think Bobby Stafford has had enough. And he is warning Mal Sanders. He said, any more of this and you're gone. Nice diamonds carry pick up there by, by James Mason. Remarkable strength. And it was Mal Sanders with the eyes. He had his fingers in the eyes. Otherwise, he might have landed out on the cold, hard wooden floor here on the Broxbourne Civic Hall. And Mason goes for it again. And again, a couple of thumbs up the nose. And Mason has got nowhere to go, and he is forced to drop Mal Sanders back to his feet. Again, Mal Sanders using the body of his opponent to shield the referee from what's actually going on. But we've got a great view. And Mal Sanders has been putting fingers up the noses and thumbs in the eyes. And pretty much every illegal tactic he can think of. But James Mason comes up the middle. He's back. Flying cross body. There's a cover. Two and a three. And he gets it in the second round. James Mason 
scores the first fall in round two. And what a fall, great athleticism there. James Mason scoring the first fall in the second round. He came off that middle turnbuckle with a great flying cross body. And that really caught Mal Sanders off guard. And what a boost here for James Mason. Well, that is going to give James Mason so much confidence, but he was cut off straight away. Yet another blow to the eyes from Mal Sanders. And again, the referee did not see it. But again, everyone else in the Brooks Bonds here all did. And Mason might have the one full advantage, but he is down on his knees now. And Sanders must be looking surely at his first public warning. But unfortunately, of course, if the referee doesn't see it, he can't call it. Even if every single fan in the building tells him what happened, well, surely that must be, he must be able to see that now. But again, great ring positioning from the veteran Mal Sanders. But not now. Straight over to our ring announcer, Steve Linton. And a deserved public warning for superstar Mal Sanders, who is one full down in this, the third round. Well, Mal Sanders offering uh, James Mason a handshake now. James Mason might be a lot younger than Mount Sanders, but surely he wasn't born yesterday. Oh, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Giving Mount Sanders a taste of his own medicine. He's got him in the corner, whips him across the ring with force, but Sanders out of the way in the nick of time. And James Mason landed shoulder first, I believe, in that middle turnbuckle. And his left arm is hurt. Mal Sanders sent that straight away. And he is twisting it now in that top rope. And just yanking that down. And you can see now James Mason, he is holding that left arm against his body. And Mason may well be injured. He's one full up. But Mal Sanders continuing to work on that left arm. This contest has really picked up a pace now. I think Mal Sanders knows that he's got a real battle on his hands. He has got to come back from a one full deficit and he is going to do whatever it takes to win. As he has done for over 30 years in the sport. Well, he came off the top there, double axe handle. And now Mal Sanders indicating to the fans that it's over. And it may well be, he is right on that left arm. The referee's checking Mal Mason, and he gets an instant submission, but Mal Sanders had his hand on the ropes for extra leverage. And the referee didn't see it, it's gonna count. It is gonna stand, I'm sure. But that is a real miscarriage of justice for James Mason. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's round three. It's an equalizing submission to superstar Mal Sanders. And Mal Sanders gets the equalizer there. The, we're at the midway stage in this contest, but he was using that top rope for extra leverage. The referee, of course, was down and asking James Mason if he wanted to submit. Well, we are going into round four now. It's one fall apiece. Three rounds gone, three remaining. And the referee still isn't quite sure what happened at the end of that round. Now the fans really rallying behind James Mason. Well, the referee conferring with our ring announcer, Steve Litton. And Ladies just... Ladies and gentlemen, superstar Mal Sanders. I'll give the microphone to right. the referee. Let him ask those people. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is highly unorthodox. 
These people are inside. Was Mount Salman studying the right? Was Mount Salman studying the right? Well, the fool's going to stand, but Mount Saunders gets his second and final well, public warning. Mount Saunders receives his second and final public warning. A second and final public warning, but it may have been a worthwhile sacrifice because Saunders was still able to get the equalising fool. Nonetheless, Mason with a handspring elbow into the corner. And now Mason, he has got Mount Saunders staggering. And this would be a great, great win for James Mason if he can put Mount Sanders away. But Sanders just too quick. Sanders just too quick. And Mason's own youthful exuberance got the better of him on that occasion. And he has just whipped across the ring now. And Mount Sanders says enough is enough. But throughout the contest, he is... He has underestimated James Mason. He has sold him short. And now the referee forcefully having to stand in to break this. And Mal Sanders now must surely be looking at a disqualification. He has already received two public warnings. And James Mason still clutching that left arm by his side. You can see it. it's hanging limp by his side. He may well have suffered a, an injury. That would be very unfortunate. Oh, and a nice go, a nice go between there. Well, Mason toying with a closed fist. He hesitated too long. Sanders with a cover. And I think he just got a two on that occasion. James Mason able to get the shoulder up. And what a great way to kick things off here tonight at Legend Showdown. Mal Sanders, of course, a top star throughout the days of the world of sport. He has wrestled since the 1970s. He has fought Mick McManus and many other stars, but James Mason goes to the outside. James Mason flew over the top rope. And my goodness, I don't know if he'll be able to continue. I do not know if James Mason will be able to continue after that. Well, he is bravely getting back up to his feet. And indeed, bravely, he rolls back in the ring. And I, for one, am so impressed. Well, this is how he beat... That is how he beat Johnny Kidd just a few weeks ago on LDN Capital TV. And indeed, Mal Saunders got an instant submission with the manoeuvre there on James Mason. We go down to ring it out to Steve Litton for the official... Announcements, but Mal Sanders defeats James Mason two falls to one. Well,